Hello everyone, I'm Hims here from TWS team and from the bottom of my heart, I welcome you guys to our Trade with Sid YouTube channel where you're gonna learn with Sid and you're gonna earn with Sid. All right guys, so in this video, we will learn about the installation and how to log in into your MT4 account properly. We will also learn finding Forex and commodity spares. Where are they in your MT4 platform? We will also talk about the how to change charts. We will talk about setting default chart templates you will talk about changing time frames using drawing tools and how you are going to set up your indicators in your md4 account and your how you can resize and arrange your charts at the last and most important how you are going to enter in your trade in a correct manner so without any further ado let's get started all right guys so first and foremost thing which we need here is metatrader 4 platform okay so how we are going to get our MT4 platform? All you have to do is be go to any broker, really any broker you wish in which you are going to open your account. For example, I have opened three brokers in front of you so that you so that I can show you the process is same here. Okay, there is no much difference. For example, in FXTM broker, you can see that there is this option in trading platform. I go to MetaTrader 4 and it will allow me to download their platform here. Okay. If I go to Pepperstone, it will show me the platform right here. I click on MT4 and it is saying that I can download my platform right here. Okay. I click on desktop and I can download it for Windows. Okay. And the last one, last uh, example which I'm taking, uh, IC market. I clicked on MT4 again. And here you can see that it is showing me to download the MetaTrader 4 platform right here. So guys, this is how you can download the MetaTrader 4 platform. And once you download it and install it, you're gonna see something like this. So I have chosen the FXTM broker MetaTrader 4 platform. And that's why you can see the icon of uh, the broker right here, right here as well, okay? So after installing this software, what you have to do is you have to log in to your account, okay? So in order to log into your account, all you have to do is go to this file section up here. Either you can click on open an account to open a demo account, or you can click on log into a trading account. If you click on log into trading account, you can see the details right here. It will ask you the login number, password, and the server, which your broker will give you in your email once you register on their platform, okay? After that, all you have to do is click on login. In order to see whether your account is working or not, all you have to see is if the icon is green or not. If your account is not working, it will show you the red icon and it will say not connected, something like that. So guys, that was all about the installation of MetaTrader and logging into your account with MetaTrader 4. Now, once you have installed the MT4 platform and log in into your account, the next step you might be looking for is how you can find the Forex pair or commodity pair or any pair to trade on okay so guys there are two options to find your pairs the op the option number one is you are going to go to this market watch window in case you can't see this market watch window let's say you just opened this uh, mt4 platform and you are seeing a window like this okay you can't see the market watch window right now so all you have to do is click right here it will open the market watch window for you and this option number one is you you are going to double click on this white blank space okay you are going to click double click on this white blank space let's say i want to trade on gbp cad pair okay what i will do is i will just double click on this white space i will type gbp cad and i will press enter see just with one click i got my gbp cad pair which i can trade on this is the option number one the option number two of finding the pairs which i find the better option to find your pairs is you will right click here and you will go to symbols or you can use the shortcut button here control plus u so once you go to this symbols window you can see there are many many pairs which you can add in your mt4 account let's say uh, I'm going to select AUDJPY. All I have to do is just double click on it and you can see now AUDJPY is available here. Let's say I want now Euro CHF pair. I will double click on it. It will glow up as golden color and you can see I can uh, I can see my Euro, G, uh, Euro CHF right here as well. So guys, that's how you are going to add your currency pairs in your MT4 platform. Now let's move to our next topic. 
okay coming to our next topic how you are going to change the charts in your mt4 platform right now you can see that euro odd is open okay now let's say you want to trade on usd cad okay so all you have to do is just click on it and just drag it on your mt4 screen so you can see usd cad is open in front of you let's say you want to trade on gb usd as well all you have to do is click on it and just drag it right over here so you see how in just one click you can bring all the charts in front of you and in case you are not liking how your charts look like then don't worry in our next step i'm going to tell you how you are going to make a template and how you are going to make that template as default chart pattern in your mt4 account okay so this step is going to be very very interesting why because we are going to do some decorations and i love some decorations <laughs> okay so you might have seen that whenever you open your mt4 terminal you see this boring chart so how you are going to change the charts and how you are going to keep them as default chart because there is a problem which many people face when they decorate their chart with all the colors and everything and when they restart their mt4 account boom that's all the charts are gone and that that is really frustrating okay so in this video i'm going to solve your that problem as well so what you have to do is just right click on it go to properties here you can decorate your charts in any way you wish now let's say i want to decorate my charts where i want a white background i like i love white backgrounds in foreground i'm going to keep it i'm going to give it black color for grades i'm going to keep it uh, yeah gray is good color there and uh, for green candles that is a bar up it is saying that green candle i mean bull candle i'm going to choose this color for uh, bullish candle oh, for bearish candles i'm going to choose red color for bull candle again i'm going to choose a green color and for bearish candles i'm going to choose red color again and you can leave other options if, if you if you if you will be using them then you can choose them and as i will be i will not be using them right now so i'm just leaving them behind okay and just click okay and you can see how it's a it's a bar graph right now all you have to do is just click on right here and you can see the candlesticks now now what you have to do is if you don't want to lose your this style all you have to do is just click right click on it go to templates and just click on save template and let's say i'm going to, i'm going to give it name as a new chart okay now let's bring a new pair here to see if whether my template is working or not so let's say we are going to bring uh shao usd that is a gold pair i'm going to bring it right here i'm going to go to templates load template and i'm going to choose my template which i just made that is new chart and you can see how we are seeing our new and fresh template on our mt4 platform right now now but this thing doesn't solve our major problem and uh, what is the major problem let's say i bring up a new chart let's say euro usd i bring it up and it's showing me the old pattern again and again so in that case what i have to do is just close it just close it all you have to do is just right click go to templates save template and this time name it as default and just save and now whenever you will bring a new chart see now this has become your default template each and every time it will bring up your new and fresh template okay so guys this is how you can solve your templates problem and uh, now let's move to our next topic that is how you are going to change the time frames of your charts changing the timings or, or the time frames of your charts is very simple step all you have to do is just click on it let's say i'm on gp and zd pair okay all i have to do is just click on it one minute it's showing you can see it's a one minute it's working on one minute time frame now let's say i want a 15 minute time frame i'll just click on 15 minutes and it's showing me that thing okay there is one more step of changing your time frames that is just right click on it and go to time frames and you can see it is showing you many many time frames here so let's say i chose the daily time frame and each and every candle is now of one day so guys this is how you are going to change your time frames as well now let's move to our next topic that is how you are going to use drawing tools on your charts so guys being a technical analyst you must be agree with me on this that a technical analysis 
is incomplete if we don't have drawing tools in our charting platform okay so in uh, metadata 4 doesn't give us so many options but it do have some basic options for example let's say we are on this show usd that is gold we are on gold and i can see a support level here you can see the support level here it market came down it bounced from here it bounced from here again that is showing that it there is a support level here so all you have to do is just go to this bar right here you can see this bar and click on the any drawing tool which you need for example i want uh, i want to draw a line here a horizontal line so i'll just click on it and mark my level here so guys this is how simply you can put your drawing drawing tools on your charts now let's say if you want to use uh, some other chart some other drawing tool which you can't see here so just right click on it go to customize and here you can see many other drawing tools which may be useful for you let's say i want a rectangle to draw a support uh, area okay i will just click on it insert close it and here you, here, and here you can see uh, your rectangle i will just select it and draw it like this so you see how simple and easy it is to have drawing tools on your mt4 account coming to our next topic which i feel like is uh, one of the most important topic of whole video that is how you are going to use the indicators on your mt4 platform okay so this is going to be a very simple step as well uh, there are two ways to put indicators on your charts okay so the option number one is all you have to do is go to this section on insert go to indicators let's say i want an indicator which shows me volume so here we have a number of volume indicators then i will just click on any indicator i wish let's say i'm going to click on on balance volume indicator it is it is asking me some basic settings i'm going to just okay it because i just want to show you uh, give you a vague idea how it works so this was the first option how you can put indicators on your in charts and there is one more way which i find more easier to use okay so here you can see all the indicators which mt4 you which your mt4 account currently have okay so let's say i want uh, this alligator indicator on my chart i will just click on it i will drag it on my chart and click ok and that's how you can set your indicator on your chart and let's say uh, let's put another indicator here cci just drag it on, on it let's put another indicator here let's say i'm selecting this bulls indicator and just click ok so guys you see how i have set four indicators on my chart i know this has clutter my chart but i have done it on on a purpose because i want to show you how you can remove these indicators i have shown you how to add them and now i'm going to show you how to remove them all you have to do is just right click on it and go to this object list sorry just go to this uh, indicators list and here you can remove these any indicator you wish let's say i want to remove bulls I want to remove CCI as well and I just want to keep on balance volume. I will just close it and you can see all the indicators now have now gone and I am left with only one indicator of my wish. Now let's move to our next topic that is how you are going to resize and arrange charts on your MT4 platform. Now I'm going to open number of charts then I'm going to show you how you are going to resize and arrange these charts. Let's say I've done my analysis on GPUSD then i'm going to open gp and zd as well then i have done my analysis on shag usd which is silver okay now i have three charts right here in front of you let's open one more chart euro odd now let's say i have opened these four charts and my screen has really messed up totally messed up all you have to do is just go to window section and go to and you can choose any of them let's say i'm going to choose tile window in tile section you can see how it has arranged everything for me in a very simple way uh, if i choose another thing let's say cascade it has opened all the charts in front of me like this which uh, i don't like uh, i was preferring tile window only uh, let, uh, let's say let's choose this one tile horizontally you can see how it has arranged everything for us in this way and going to the last section uh, tile vertically it has arranged everything in this way 
So you can choose any one which you prefer your trading style, how you are going to trade. It's all up to you. It's all up to the trader. It depends on trader to trader. Okay. All right. So now let's go to the last part of this video. That is how to enter our trade in MT4 platform. Okay. Let me remove all of these things and keep only one chart in front of us. Okay. So I've chosen USD CAD pair on one minute time frame, and I'm going to show you how you are going to trade on MT4 platform. So all you have to do is there are a few methods to do so. Method number one, you can click on this button that is new order and it will show you this window where you can uh, just uh, select any symbol for right now we are on USD CAD so we are not going to touch it. The volume uh, that is the lot size or which is also known as volume. You can put your stop loss and take profit level here. Comment if you want to uh, put any comment here that is why you chose this uh, trade etc etc okay. And then comes the type of order you are going to choose pending order market execution order. We have already made the video on the same thing uh, that is her uh, types of orders in the market and I have given the link in the description of that video. Okay. Now the last thing which you are going to do is either click on buy or sell whatever you seems good to you. Okay. Like for right now I'm going to sell it from here. So you can see it has placed my order one lot size USD CAD symbol. I sold at this price my SL and TP isn't placed right now okay now coming to this next step how you can enter the trade even faster okay so all you have to do is just go to this small icon click on it and you can see two options here either sell or buy see how simple it has become for us let's say I want to sell again from here I will just click on it and it has placed my order from there so you see how these are two methods of placing your trades in the market Okay guys, that was all about the tutorials of MetaTrader 4 platform. Now I hope you know a lot more about it. For more trading educational and strategic videos, be sure to subscribe our Trade with Said YouTube channel where we keep on uploading many many important videos related to trading which make sure that you are going to be profitable in trading. So guys, see you in the next videos. Be sure to subscribe our channel and like this video. Take care. Bye bye my friend. Bye bye.